Beyond the Earth's atmosphere, the temperature behaves strangely in space. On the sunward side, the temperature soars to multiples of the boiling point, while on the shaded side, it plummets to extremely low levels. Why is there such a stark contrast in temperature across space? Space isn't empty. It has gas and dust particles, but they're spread so far apart that they hardly interact. Therefore, only radiation is an effective way for heat transfer in space, as conduction and convection require closer proximity of particles to be effective. Radiation doesn't have a temperature. It only carries energy. It transfers energy when it interacts with an object. Radiation waves excite molecules upon contact, leading to their heating. It's important to note that radiation only heats molecules and matter directly in its path. The heat subsequently disperses from that point as a result of the particle's interaction. It is how heat travels from the Sun to Earth. Planetary objects like Earth receive heat from the Sun through radiation, which keeps them warm even though the space around them is extremely cold. On Earth, air particles transfer and redistribute heat through convection, resulting in a cooling effect in sunlight and warmth in the shade. In space, the sun-facing side of an object absorbs continuous heat through radiation, while the shaded side remains consistently cold. Due to the absence of air for heat distribution, both parts experience a significant temperature difference. Therefore, Spacecraft and sensitive machinery must rotate to evade the intense radiation from the sun and the extreme cold of outer space. It is the reason that Parker Solar Probe can get so close to the sun on its missions. The shield of the probe shields it from direct radiation from the sun. Meanwhile, the sensitive parts of the probe, located in the shaded area, stay cool. The shield is exposed to extreme heat reaching 1,650 degrees Celsius, while its shaded parts remain cool at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius.